Good evening, folks. My name is Andrew Spano, retired Command Sergeant Major, and I am the Army instructor for the Junior ROTC program here at Baldwin Middle Senior High School. I'd like to introduce you to our program and let you know a little bit more about what we do here uh, as your children go through our program to learn more about themselves, leadership potential, and so on and so forth. Here's our agenda for tonight's briefing. Now, the Junior ROTC is a great leadership program. And first and foremost, it's all about teaching your children about citizenship and leadership and their look at, at their potential for future advancement in whatever decisions they make while in school and outside of school. ROTC has a long history that dates back to the early 1800s, but it formally was not introduced here in the United States until the early part of the 20th century. It started with six high schools and now has grown to over 17 high schools in the United States and its territories around the globe. In the United States alone, there's over 3,000 schools, but that is across all five branches of the military. But in the Army Junior ROTC, there's over 1,700 high schools and over 300,000 other high school students just in Army Junior ROTC alone. Here at Baldwin, the program began in 2018. Major Mallard is our senior Army instructor, and as I said, I'm the Army instructor here at our program. Our mission in Army Junior ROTC is to motivate young people to become better citizens. But I'd like to add on to that to become better students, better citizens, and better members of our community. Our number one goal is that our students graduate from high school. They're prepared for responsible leadership roles that will take them into whatever career field or post-secondary uh, education opportunities or technical school uh, education. We make them more aware of their citizenship benefits and what their roles are as a citizen in the United States. Junior ROTC isn't just about work in the classroom. We do a lot of things outside of the classroom, extracurricular programs as the Raiders, the drill competitions, the color guard and air rifle teams. Our students, uh, about 10 to 12 of them, get to go to a leadership camp for about five days after school. And they're involved in many things that deal with science and technological and engineering type things with our robotics class. Our weekly schedule looks something like this when we're all back to school five days a week. Mondays are our leadership labs where we'll do drill and ceremony, practical application, and portfolio development where they get to uh, track their progress as they're going through uh, their first year in the leadership education training. Tuesdays will be uniform inspections. So yes, they'll have to, they'll be issued everything from us, no cost to the families, but we'll teach them how to prepare themselves as if they were having to wear a specific uniform for uh, a work or something like that. But it's all expenses paid by the military uh, and you, the children just have to return it at the end of the year. Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be teaching the curriculum that is not just about military stuff, because as I said, our number one goal is that our students are prepared to graduate from high school on time. And Friday is physical fitness. Uh, we'll introduce physical fitness exercises to them. And in most cases, this is the first time in a long time that our these kids have been uh, done any type of fitness so we introduce that in a better lifestyle and healthy lifestyle. Now the students will be doing a lot of work in the classroom and outside of the classroom. All their work assignments are on Microsoft Teams and on Focus. And whatever work they do, they have to submit it on this portal that the Army Cadet Command has uh, created. It's called Smart Cadet, where all their assignments are uploaded there and I get to see when they uh, upload them and I post their grades into Focus. This is how you and your children can contact me. First is email, and that's the easiest one. And this is my phone number that uh, here at the classroom slash office if anyone needs to get a hold of me. But I, I use a Remind app that was introduced to me by students in the past, and the students and their parents can also sign up for that. That way there, when I communicate tasks or reminders about something, parents can see exactly what the students are being told and they can respond and you and the parents can respond to me as well. So I look forward to seeing parents as part of the Remind app. Tutoring is always available. Uh, Major Mallard and myself are always here Monday through Thursday because we're practicing with one of our extracurricular teams. But on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm available 
for students that are having trouble, they just have to ask me and let me know that they need to spend some time with me in the classroom. We have computers available as well. So I'm here every afternoon, Monday through Thursday from 2 to 5 p.m. and I'm available for help all the time. This is how their grades are broken down. 35% of their overall grade comes from their classroom work, um, physical fitness and the leadership labs. Uniform inspection is 30% is of their overall grade. In quizzes and exams are worth 20% of their overall grade. And with homework, uh, because they'll get at least one homework assignment per week, is worth 15% of their grade. So as a student walks through the door, they already have 100 points. And the things that they do and not do, unfortunately, sometimes will deduct points from, from their grade. So hopefully we just keep our students uh, occupied and their participation efforts. And I just want to see work uh, that to show that they're understanding what we're talking about and they can walk out with 100 points at the end of each class. Make up directions. I understand that sometimes students will unfortunately be absent from class, but daily I upgrade or update my my grade books for each of my students. And if they've missed an assignment because of absentee, then they can just do the makeup assignments. I leave detailed notes, so there's no uh, there's all transparency exactly what is expected. And missed uniform inspections, I always allow them to make up assignments, so uniform inspection is one of them. They just have to come one of the days after, which is on Tuesdays, and they have three days for the rest of the week. I'll reinspect them or I'll conduct their inspection, and then they just miss uh, deduct 10 points for each day that they're late. What to do if your child is absent, which happens, as I said, and we've already talked about uh, missed uniform inspection, but the only thing that the students cannot make up is physical fitness because that is a participation and performance oriented event and it's for team building. So if they are absent, unfortunately, the parents just have to communicate with the folks in the front office that deal with abs uh, attendance. And if it gets excused, I just need to be told by the student, I'll check on that and then I'll exclude the zero from their grade. So we've reached the end of the briefing. I, if you have any questions, I look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any questions, uh, anything at all, please contact me via my email address or my phone number here at the office. I look forward to seeing you and your children here in the classroom or any time we have events to recognize them and their efforts. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care and remember, we're all in here at Baldwin.